Today, ladies, we're going to talk about how to dress better for spring. So there are lots of great little ways that you can just kind of tweak your looks for the springtime to really refresh your wardrobe, to feel great in these warmer months, and really enjoy your clothing. So we've got some good ones for you. If you are interested in finding out how to look better this time of year, then stay tuned. Yes, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Christina. This is my best friend, Kelly. If you like fashion, finding out what the latest trends are, or even some budget-friendly hauls, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can catch our videos every Sunday and Thursday. So one of the easiest ways to dress better and refresh your look for the springtime is to swap out some of those darker colors that you've probably been wearing in fall and winter for some brights or pastels. So brights are all the rage this year for the fashion trends. They were all over the runways. Everything from bright fuchsia pink to cobalt blue to that beautiful vibrant green shade to a sunshine yellow. They're super popular and of course pastels are classic springtime. So these are really great options for refreshing your look, whether it's for a, a top that you're wearing or a dress that you're wearing or even an accessory like a handbag. Instead of using those really dark colors like your blacks and your dark chocolate browns, swap things out for some of these brights or pastel colors. It's really just going to automatically make you look more spring ready. So even if you are a lover of dark denim, which we know many of you are, just by making the top half of your body something bright or something pastel, it's automatically going to give you that fresh springtime look and it's a super easy update. Another easy way to address better for spring is to show a little bit of skin and specifically up in your shoulder area. So that can be done with an off the shoulder top or dress. You can either reveal one shoulder or both shoulders. You can also have some camis that you are wearing that have like the little spaghetti strap or even some dresses with that. Or even now what is super popular are these tie shoulder straps that are you're seeing in some tops and in some dresses. It helps you to kind of like either wear them traditionally. We've shown you how you can also change them into a halter style, but by revealing a little bit of skin up top, you're really highlighting some of the most feminine and delicate parts of the woman's body. So that can be like your collarbone, your neckline. If you're wearing like a nice statement earring, you're also highlighting that area along with your face. And by doing that, you're just creating this like very bright and cheery, beautiful look for spring. So this next tip is one that you may not have thought of before or heard of before, but it's definitely one that I've kind of noticed on myself that I use sometimes and I really do enjoy it, so I wanted to share it with you as well. In the spring and summertime, one of the things that are very popular are dresses. And of course, a lot of these dresses are a bit flowy and loose, maybe something like a baby doll style dress or a drop waist dress is very popular or just a long flowy maxi dress. And I love those looks. I think they're so beautiful and feminine. But once in a while, I wish that I could have a little bit more definition to the body. You know, sometimes you put it on and you feel like you're getting a little bit lost in all of that fabric, especially if if you are someone who is on the petite side and one of the ways that you can add a little bit more definition and show your shape a little bit is by adding a crossbody bag over the dress. So this can be anything from a leather crossbody to the very popular guitar strap crossbody styles. These are great styles of bags anyway. They keep you hands free. They're super functional, especially for travel, but they actually do serve this purpose of kind of showing where your body is underneath that lots of fabric in that dress. So we're gonna show you a little bit of an example of, you know, the dress is cute on its own. There's nothing wrong with the dress. I wouldn't buy a dress that was you know so oversized I was drowning in it. However, when I just add that little detail of the crossbody strap, it definitely makes me feel a little bit more confident that it's showing off my figure. So this is a good one, maybe something you didn't think of and you wanna give it a try. And I just happen to love this style of bag anyway. I think it's super on trend and very functional. So definitely a good tip. If you haven't tried it, go ahead and experiment. 
Another easy way to step up your fashion game for spring is to define your waist. So you can do this in a number of ways. They have lots of dresses that have belts, which really help to define that waist area. You can also find dresses that are wrap style or tops that are wrap style. Of course, if you have been watching us for a while, then you know that Kelly and I love wrap style tops and dresses. Another thing that you can also do is look for tops and dresses that have an elastic band, whether that's in a peplum style top or if you even have maybe a little bit more of some tummy troubles and you don't want the material to lay super snug against your waist, you can also pick up some tops that have like a baby style top that's a little bit looser and flowier. But by having these different elements that kind of highlight and create some shape to the waist area, you really are creating a lot more of a well-balanced and proportioned look to your outfit. So there's so many different choices out there and whether you are someone that has maybe a shorter torso or maybe you are someone that doesn't really have that hourglass shape, by picking these styles of tops and of dresses, you really are helping yourself and really making that fabric do the work for you. So before we get into the next tip, I just wanted to mention the things that I have on today because we get a lot of questions about our tops and jewelry. So first, I happen to be wearing this new top. It's in this linen fabric. It's very lightweight, perfect for spring and summer, and it happens to be that pastel that we were just talking about. So I will make sure to link this one below. It's got long sleeves that I love to roll up. It's super comfortable, and it's a little bit of that oversized fit, so I did size down to an extra small. And next is the jewelry that I have on. These are some new pieces that I have been loving. So starting with this beautiful necklace, it has this little like rectangular crystal. I feel like it's subtle, but not subtle because it's definitely noticeable when I'm wearing something like a plain button up shirt. So I really love this one. And I also have on some new earrings. These are a beautiful little like medium sized hoop earring. They have kind of like this lace type of detailing, really pretty, really feminine and very perfect for springtime. I'm also wearing this double ring stack, which I am absolutely loving. I know I love something when we get it in and I keep grabbing it and grabbing it and grabbing it. So this is a double statement ring stack in this chunky like gold. It has a little tiny crystal on each of the rings as well. And my bracelets that I have on today, one of them is the bangle cuff that I have been wearing like crazy. Very simple, classic piece. And then I also have on this really cool little paper clip chain link bracelet that is adjustable in sizing and such a great piece. So all of these pieces, very affordable. We'll make sure we link them for you. So definitely check them out. And getting into the next tip. So this is one of my personal favorites, and that is how you can elongate your legs in spring and summer and dress better. So one of our favorite ways to do that is with a wedge sandal. So when you're in fall and winter, we were really elongating the body with some different styles of boots. But now that we're moving into spring and summer, we put those boots away and we are pulling out these wedge sandals. These are so on trend, they're so comfortable. We love the espadrille style best, but there's a variety of different styles. We'll link some of our favorites, especially in like a tan color that matches your skin tone that's extra elongating and with a nice little wrap around the slimmest part of your ankle. I love that look. And if you're not a wedge person, another great way you can add some height to the body and lengthen those legs is with a block heel sandal. So definitely get those pedicures ready because all of these are open toed, but of course that's classic springtime and a nice block heel is also gonna look really well and give you that height, but still give you that comfort that you're looking for. So before I share the next tip with you, I wanted to share the earrings and the shirt that I'm wearing with you. So I styled this shirt with these mixed metal twisted hoop earrings that I picked up. I love them. I thought that the design was just so perfect and really effortless to style with so many different outfits for spring. And then I styled it with this mixed metal twisted bracelet. I thought the two really went so well together in addition to this little chunky like gold statement ring that I picked up from Walmart. Super budget friendly. I want to 
say it was like right around maybe like $13 or something like that. It came in a set of two different rings. So I styled them with this fuchsia boyfriend styled um, button up shirt. So I love this shirt because it's in this very like vibrant color. Definitely one of our tips that we gave to you to really kind of just brighten up the skin and the face. I picked up a pink shade as well, which I thought was so pretty for spring. And for both of them, you'll see I styled them with some light wash uh, denim jeans, which actually leads me into our next tip. So for this tip, we definitely are recommending that if you want to really kind of step into spring to put away those darker denim. I love a great like dark wash jean for the fall and the winter or also maybe like a, a rich like black denim. However, for the spring, I'm absolutely pulling those light wash denim or even now like they have a lot of these beautiful neutrals that are maybe in like these cream shades or a light tan and of course there's always that classic white denim that I'm always having to purchase every year because I love styling my outfits with these lighter shades. So because you're styling so many of your outfits probably either with neutrals or even with these beautiful like pastels or these vibrant like colors, then of course when you style them with these light wash jeans or these neutral or white colored jeans, it really just helps to brighten up the entire outfit for spring, really helping you to step up your spring fashion game. So this next tip of how to dress better for springtime has to do with the fabrics that you choose. So obviously in the winter time, we were really talking a lot about things like silk, satin, cashmere, all of those warm and fuzzy and just beautiful soft fabrics. Now when it's going into spring and summer, we're thinking more about what's gonna keep us comfortable because in order to dress your best, you also have to feel your best and you don't wanna be you know, hot and sweaty and especially for those of us who have climates like we do here in South Florida, fabric is really gonna be super important. So one of the things that we suggest is switching out your pieces to some fabrics with linen or gauze. So gauze is kind of new to the fashion scene. It's very similar to linen, but it doesn't wrinkle as easily. But I love a good classic linen as well, or even just a linen blend. We have found some pieces recently that we are loving. This shirt being one of those pieces, super comfortable. It also has a look about it that's a little bit different that really does feel very spring-like. So it's something a little bit unique that we really do tend to pull out in spring and summer, but also very classic pieces. So if you invest in some of these fabrics, you will have them for years and years to come and pull them out whenever the weather gets warmer. We've also found some linen dresses. We love a classic white linen pant, especially in a nice long length that really elongates the legs. And when you pair those with those wedges that we talked about earlier, Earlier, you're gonna look fantastic so we'll share some of our favorite linen and gauze pieces with you but it's definitely something to consider if you want to refresh your look for springtime so this next tip is one that I do every year without fail and that is swapping out some of my darker fall and winter bags for some of these lighter and brighter bags so one of the easiest ways to do that is by picking up like a nude or like a light tan colored bag it really just will help to kind of go with all of these like pastels or vibrant colors or neutral shades that you are wearing in the spring. But of course, if you really wanna step it up for spring, one of the my favorite ways is by grabbing some of these straw or rattan style bags. And they come in so many different styles, whether that's like a tote style bag, a crossbody, or even like a little clutch or a satchel kind of bag. And you'll notice that a lot of them have this very like natural fabric. So some of them come in more of like a lighter shade where there it's like a almost like an off-white kind of natural fabric some of them are a little bit darker where they're maybe more of like a richer like tan kind of shade and then you can also find some that have these beautiful like colors or if you are someone who's a black lover you will also find that a lot of these straw and rattan bags also come in the color black but just by picking these lighter shades or even by picking a material of bag in straw or a tan you really can step up your fashion game in one of the ways that I like to refresh and update my look for spring has to do with adding a little bit of glow to my skin. And the reason that I like to do this is because, of course, as we age, especially for those of us who have very fair skin, you can definitely see things like little imperfections more, little blemishes, little sunspots and things like that. So 
It makes me feel much more confident when I have a little bit of tan to my skin, especially when I'm wearing things like the spaghetti strap dresses or the off the shoulder tops. And I am not going to do that by going out in the sun. I've already had skin cancer several times. I am not taking any chances with my skin. So I like to use something like a self tanner. So one of the ones that I really love is this one. I've talked about it before in our favorites. This is the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. The reason I really love this versus, you know, constantly using like a full self tanning routine is that this is something that you can use just like you would use your regular body moisturizer and it really does have a lot of those benefits like a moisturizer does but over time it's giving you a little bit of pigment color to your skin so in about two days I have a nice little color that is really all I'm looking for I can continue to use it and I won't turn orange it doesn't build up so much I go for the fair to medium skin tones there's also a medium to dark but I find that it gives me just enough color that it still looks like me it doesn't make me look like a carrot or anything like that but it just makes me feel a little bit more self-confident when I'm wearing these things that are really showing a lot of skin whether it be on my upper body or on my legs so if you are someone who Who's looking for that but maybe you're a little afraid of the self tanners that can leave you streaky and spotty this will not do that this is very natural it's very easy to use I like to say it's self tanner for dummies and it's a great product and I want to say this was around $15 so I will definitely link this for you if you're looking for something this is my personal favorite Another easy way to update your fashion for spring is to pick up a new bathing suit cover. So I know like here where we live in Florida, the weather is beautiful. People are absolutely going to the beaches, poolside, and so a swimsuit cover up really makes sense. Now, if you live in colder climate, you might be thinking, this does not apply to me. But what you have to remember is so many of us are actually traveling for spring break to locations that have these very warm weather or tropical type of weather so of course a bathing suit and a cover-up is a must so I recently picked one up that I will share with you um, I found it to be super flattering it has a bunch of different you know colors and prints that it comes in and I'll make sure to show those images to you but what you don't want to do is have maybe like an old baggy you know like a t-shirt that you're wearing as a cover-up by just you know selecting something that's new especially when a lot of the options are still available we all know the struggle of online shopping and everything selling out so quickly you really will be ahead of the game and you'll also be fully prepared if you are traveling this spring break Okay, so we've talked about lots of different ways you can update everything from your swimsuit cover-ups to your dresses, to your tops, to your jeans, to your shoes. And now we need to talk about pajamas. So you might not really think about loungewear and PJs so much as something that you need to refresh, but you actually kind of do because in the winter time, we were definitely reaching for those warmer, cozier fabrics. We shared some really great ones right around Christmas time that I was obsessing over. But now that the weather is getting warmer, those are getting a little bit too hot and nobody wants to wake up sweaty. So you're gonna wanna think about a pajama or loungewear refresh and we definitely found some good budget-friendly ones this cotton poplin fabric is really really good for spring and summer it's very cooling it's very comfortable it's not heavy on your skin it will help you not to sweat at night so we'll share some of our favorites lots of great options great prints really cute and it's also nice to have those spring prints I don't know something about a cute pair of PJs that really like goes with that season I just love it they have some really great options a lot of them are in these pastels or brights that we talked about so don't forget about your pajamas and your loungewear when you're doing your spring update so this last tip is an absolutely important one that you'll want to make sure that you do this spring and that is to make sure you're investing in the proper undergarments so during the winter time we are wearing some of these chunkier sweaters or dark wash denim so you may be able to get away with having your like comfortable bra or having some panties that have some seams in them however during the spring 
you're changing to you know these uh, fabrics that are lighter they might be more sheer you also might have some of these tops or dresses that are just revealing more of your skin so by changing and really investing in some of these proper undergarments is a must so that can be everything from a seamless panty you also might want to take a look at a good like convertible bra something that allows you to change up the straps whether it is going from like one strap if you only have a off the shoulder that's revealing one shoulder you can also go to a halter style strap or a racer bag or completely strapless and if you are someone who doesn't need a bra and you might just need some like little stickies that's also something that you will want to do because with all of these beautiful tops and dresses and sheer kind of fabrics, you really don't want any of your bra straps or any of your panty lines to show. So this is an easy one for you to change out this spring. So throughout this video, we shared some pieces with you in these tips. So if there's anything that you are interested in and it's still available, we'll make sure to link those items down below as always. And if you enjoyed this video and you're looking for some clothing options to really refresh your wardrobe and feel your best this spring, then make sure you check out our Amazon dress hauls. We shared some great ones, many of which fit all of these tips. So we'll link that one below for you as well. And until next time, have a great week, ladies.